First and foremost, it says right here, requires three worksheets. January, February, March. And we're going to look up January, February, and March sales for whatever. It could be a car. It could be tuna fish. It could be, it could be coffee makers. That's not the point. What it is is combining all this using, well, hit F9. You can see all we're doing is compiling whatever's in January, whatever numbers in January for Toyota, Ford, et cetera. Using VLOOKUP in indirect, we can find stuff in other worksheets. We can use VLOOKUP in indirect to do the same thing. Let me explain how this works. Brad Williams XL Prime, the indirect function. It is, it is one of those things that just, it can be as confusing all as get up. Here's the easiest way to explain it. We're gonna reference whatever is in cell B5 to C11. It's the same thing as linking to this worksheet here. We could go as we did previously where we link to an external workbook. We can link to a worksheet, but indirect does the same thing. We're going to reference B5, which is Toyota. Here, we are explicitly saying January and whatever's in Toyota, show me. Let's look. January, Toyota. We're in January. We have Toyota. We have a three. That's it. If you try to <laughs> interpret this any other way, you're just going to make it more confusing as it is. Down here, indirect function in Excel is used to convert text into a cell reference. Okay, Here's an example. Suppose cell A1 contains the text string B2. Isn't that what this cell contains? It contains January. This is what we're telling it. It contains January B5 to C11. The following formula will return the value in cell B2. The following formula will return the value in January B5 to C11 because we're referencing B5. Go to February. Because it's saying February, explicit. B5, Toyota. Go to B5, February. Toyota, 8. We could do this. Equals V lookup. B5. We have to go here. And we have to find Toyota. I screwed up. I have to put a comma there. Equals V lookup B5, comma. You know you have to break that. Then go here, January, and hit Toyota. Then you can see how cumbersome this can get. What do we want? Column two. Then we want, make sure you put a comma there, and zero. We have a reference error because, my bad, that should be the entire table. So go here, and to fix this, just highlight it, and then do this. Enter, and you still get an NA. B5, this should have been B5, sorry. There you go, okay, so hit F9. Then you can do this, all you want, control right. And I don't know if that'll work, it, probably not. Can't copy paste unless you actually put a reference there. You notice here, if you're gonna copy this, you're gonna have to put, you're gonna have to put mix, mixed references there. And then you're gonna have to do the same thing here. You can copy right and copy down. That won't work either. Why? Because we're going to different work sheets. Hence, the creation of the indirect that takes care of this in a snap. Over here, here's the write-up. It's pretty much what I just explained. Indirect, the mixed references. Notice how they're mixed references here. If you're gonna do the approach I did, where you wanna use the VLOOKUP and then you wanna to go to each sheet individually, Follow the same format. You see these mixed references? You have to do the exact same thing. Just to extend this, copy. What I mean by extending, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, here, Control V, Control V. I'm gonna get rid of this indirect. If I do this, get rid of this. I, that's pretty much what we just did. Control. What happens if we copyright? It probably won't work. All right, look, you have February and you have March. You're gonna have to go in there and you'd have to change this to February. February, you can see the problem here. What do we have here? 
we add B5 to C11. And what happened? We have C5 to D11. So if you try to do something like that, you're going to have to put, you're going to have to change the references. Hopefully I've gotten my, my point across. There's a reason for indirect and it's a snap. It really, it's helpful. In this case, it's extremely helpful. If you need to read up, the mixed references, C4 refers to the column headings in column four, which match up to the worksheets, January, February, and March. The concatenate operators used to join a single quote character. Here's the concatenate. We're concatenating January, B5 to B6, et cetera. You have to concatenate this or it won't work. And that's critical. The exclamation point is then joined to the right to create a correct shell sheet reference, followed by the actual list. What I suggest you do is build your own, read all of this. We know the VLOOKUP, get a feel for indirect. It's a tough one to swallow. Thinking of how it works, here's the best thing. And we can reference a cell A1 up here. And you could put supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, and it's going in to your cell because that's what you referenced here. If you're saying Toyota and supercalifragilistic, and you say A1, if you go indirect A1, it's going to put it's going to put supercalifragilisticexpialidocious wherever you reference A1 to. Did I confuse you? Raise your hand if I did. Since I brought that up. Let's go super, super freak. We go indirect A1. And I don't know if that happened. It probably didn't take. And I probably have to put this in parentheses A1, indirect A1. I don't need this stuff here, A1. And again, indirect equals indirect. B lookup, B5. Oh, looking up what? Toyota. Indirect A1. Okay, you want to, <laughs> if you want to reference information on your own worksheet, how do we do that? Remember, this is just a VLOOKUP that's uh, overextended. VLOOKUP, what are we looking up? A1. We don't have to do this, but this is a, just a quick on the fly example. Lookup value A1. Our table array, indirect parentheses, A1. Column A1, zero. And what do we get? We'll get whatever's in A1. Did you do this quicker? Well, yeah, you can just go equals indirect. Whatever's in A1, you just do this. And what happened? We need to put quotes around that. And there, it's the same thing. But with VLOOKUP, you could have stuff all over your worksheet. You can use this VLOOKUP to do something like this. I know, it's crazy. To, to literally have it sink in is here's my recommendation if you don't get it right off the bat then keep reading this just read it over and over and over the wording here is i've tried to to clarify it the best i could read it reread it keep reading it and keep applying it that's all i can say be sure to check out our extensive courses which include excel data and text manipulation for advanced users beginners intermediate we also have this great essentials the A to Z for advanced users, the comprehensive beginner level one and two. Then we have our advanced formulas, strictly formulas, great set of courses, which we have a beginner level one and beginner level two, this intermediate level, and we have this advanced level. Click on any of the links. There's a short video that explains everything about the course. Check it out. It's not something you're going to you know, use that often, but when you need it, just think of the reference. Whatever is inside of the indirect is what's going to be produced. Here, we just said, whatever's in January B5C11, give us that information. So what is, what's indirect B5C11? Well, there's no reference here, okay? And that's why we're using this lookup, copy, paste, and hit equal. You're going to get this spill. Show me everything in January B5 to C11. Got it? Because B lookup is pretty nifty. It's just saying, show me Toyota. And now all it's asking is B5, show me, 
January V5. Show me January V5 C11, second column. Free creative. My suggestion is keep fussing with this thing. Do what I just did, tear it apart until you can see this flow. Start incorporating it. There's another one that will throw you, and I'm not sure it's, it's in the future. It's called Offset. And it too is one of those things that just doesn't sink in until you use it. And this is one that you really, 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 if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. Brad Williams, XL Prime. 